Archers at the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games compete using the recurve bow. Recurves are the modern evolution of traditional archery equipment. They work the same as bows that were used thousands of years ago, but are made with modern materials and technology. Let's take a look. Recurve archers pick up their bows by placing the hand in the handle, which is in the middle of the riser. They raise their arms to line up with the target, which is 70 meters down range, and pull back the bowstring all the way to their face. This position is called full draw. The force required to pull back the bow is about 20 kilograms, which is a lot when you have to do it hundreds of times in a day. Archers wear a tab on their hands, which is usually made of leather to protect their fingers from the tension in the string. The way the archer's hand is positioned under their jaw at full draw is always the same. It's known as the anchor point. Being consistent is simply essential for accuracy. At this point, the limbs in the top and the bottom of the riser are bent. They are storing the kinetic energy that will send the arrow down range. Archers aim through a sight pin in the sight at the center of the target trying to hit a circle about the size of an orange, which looks minuscule from 70 meters away. When everything is settled and it's time to shoot, the arrow drops under a clicker, which helps draw back the bow to the same distance each time. And the archer lets the arrow fly. The bow jumps forward and swings. It's powered by the force of the limbs and balanced by these stabilizing rods. The arrow, which is usually made of carbon fiber, takes up to a second to reach the target and can travel a few meters up off the ground. The whole process can take as little as three or four seconds and the tiniest error can mean disaster at the target because the world's best archers rely on incredible consistency, control and timing to achieve unbelievable feats of accuracy time and time again in the quest for Olympic gold.